Hello guys, uh, time for yet another video. Uh, I'm staying homesick uh, from flu or uh, COVID, not sure. But after six days in the bed, it's time to do something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm in my tying cave. Um, so today we're gonna focus on Irish flies. Uh, I got the nice book, one of my favorite actually. Um, so uh, I'm gonna tie the assassin. Uh, let's begin. Let's begin tying this assassin. Uh, first of all, extra small oval tinsel. The pattern description will be in the description section of this video. I recently started to add uh, the fly description. So, just tying it in a bit. And as you see, I use a normal hook today. Because I'm going to put this one in my fishing bullet. <coughs> Sorry for that. So just tying it in properly. When I have a strong fly. Silk uh, yellow. So let's tie that one in. I always use Japanese silk, nothing else. wraps backwards I don't use any gloves today and then tight wraps forwards Just gonna secure it with a few wraps with the thread. Backwards again. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit. Funny. So going backwards. In here, I build up. A bit with the thread just to make sure we don't have uneven levels that's gonna push up the tail
주시면요. 네, prepare the tail somewhere. There it is. I'm gonna have a short tail. Same here, I tie it in a bit just to make sure it holds for a few salmons or sea trouts. <laughs> so I'm just gonna move the camera a bit and I cut the leftovers. So then we have a nice thing. I will not most likely meet so I will have a bit of a gap but that's the purpose at least my purpose just a few strands there that was in the wrong direction for fishing that doesn't matter of course So, when I have a bit of a section of uh, tippets, so I'm just gonna cut them out. Sufficient. So now I just need to pair them, put them on top of each other. I forgot to go back with the thread. So let's do that first. There we go. And there it's in place. So you're just gonna cut the leftovers. And we need to have kingfisher or anything else you like. I'm gonna take this one. Same here, I'm gonna tighten properly. Has to make sure that all the materials are properly secured. Sorry about snoring. 
but yeah, I got either the flu or COVID. I did the PCR test yesterday, so let's see. There we are. So just cut the leftovers again. Going backwards. Tinsel time. So oval tinsel. I took a size large for the hook. I forgot to mention. I'm using partridge medium 40. Now I'm just stripping a bit of the tin cell to make it easier to tie in. Sorry for tying when I'm sick, but uh, yeah, I don't enjoy staying in bed. I've been there for five, six days already, so I'm getting frustrated. Hang in the tinsel. Silver, red or claret. I chose red. Oh, red or scarlet, sorry. But I'm going with the red one. Just get, get the dust away here. So Applying the seal fur to the thread. As you see, red shows really nice. I start quite thin in the back.
as far as I can go. Secured properly. There we are. Going backwards. And then just yes, continue with the seal fur. nice when you have a brushed out the body gives a good volume when you fish make more noise in the water Continuing adding seal fur to the front. Removing all the wood dust that's in the seal fur. I like to have a clean desk. Okay. Yes, you're having some more wood dust, what you call it. So, we'll start to brush it out a bit. See the volume is gonna compact a bit when uh, of course I add the tinsel and the hackle. 
it's a nice start. So first of all, we're gonna go with the tin cell. six turns in this case you're only gonna see five there we go looks even to me so hackle time I put the hackle behind the tin cell. Then it's a bit protected when you fish with it. I'm gonna use all I got so you get a little bit of red in the front as well oops always I put too much pressure there in the end I always do Just tying it in properly. There we are. Just tying the leftover steam, the stem. Not sure which one is the correct one. So, yellow front tackle. Always for classic Selma flies use cock feathers and what I normally do the one in the middle <coughs> let me show you the one in the middle I use for the body the one on the sides they're a bit longer in the fibers and a bit softer as well I use them as the front tackle just a hint if you want to give it a try and there we are Front tackle is in place. A few wraps with the thread. I have sufficient room for the wing and the head. Yes. 
so now I'm just pushing the fibers to the sides make it easier to put the middle wing that's gonna be these ones Let me add some backs there. It gives a good foundation for the stem or steam stem, I think it is. The golden pheasant uh, tippets. Just preparing, cutting the fibers that I'm gonna include in the wing. Let me see how it is. side to the one I just did So let me see where we are. There we are. It's almost spot on. So I'm just gonna play with it a little bit. <coughs> now it looks better. And continue to pull down the fibers on the sides a little bit. Not too much. Somewhere there. Looks okay. We're gonna do a short break preparing the wing and then we continue the video. 
So let's continue with the wing then. So I prepared everything we need except the topping. The jungle cook. So first of all, I'm gonna pick up the wing. I did a thin wing on this one since we have the mallard and teal. So I'm just thinking I might actually add the teal first. Nah. So I'm just sizing. So, have to be a bit careful. some fibers so teal time Same on the other side. A big slap of mallard.
it on. Just gonna wet it a little bit. big chunk of mallard then I'm gonna put the GC just below the teal let me see if I have some proper GC here on the table my tab One side, and then I want to have one for the other side. Let me see. Yeah, that one can do. Fix the thread a little bit. See? So, yes, on my side as well. Varnish a bit. <coughs> the varnish I use is Vineyard. Uh, so I'm gonna use Vineyard Clear varnish, and then uh, find the proper topping, and then we continue. Okay, last step on this fly is to add uh, the topping. So I prepare the topping. So I'm just gonna make it something like that. look nice so time to tie it in then right. and the cold is affecting oh, the flu or covid whatever it's inflecting my eyesight a bit There we are, spot on. <laughs> so 
I'm just compressing it a bit. I don't want it to be that high. So, some more wax to the thread. that the, the teal had have been slippering on this side there we are everything is in the middle as it should Sorry for snoring. There we are. So, I'm just gonna wax uh, the head, oh, wax the varnish, and then uh, cutting the leftovers, and then the fly is done. So, the fly is ready, <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'm a bit tired. Yeah, I'm gonna edit the video. It's gonna take a couple of hours, but I'm going back to bed. Uh, I might tie another fly tomorrow. Um, hopefully, I'm up for it. Um, lesson learned. Um, I would do the, the middle wing, uh, the, the tippet, a bit longer uh, in this pattern. And also, uh, the colored wing, I would. Uh, not put it that high as I have now, but uh, overall uh, it's a nice fishing uh, fly anyhow, so you can't succeed any uh, all the time. But uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, it's good for my fly wallet, so doesn't matter. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you're gonna enjoy the video. Um, take care, stay safe, uh, don't get the flow of COVID. It's a bitch, really. Uh, sorry for the uh, language. Bye.